Hi, welcome back and I do want to go over this lightning network vulnerability that a lot of people seem to just overlook or they just don't care about but over here on my channel where I talk about fails and crypto mining and crypto in general I think it's extremely important to talk about vulnerabilities such as this one so that you don't get a big F on your account. Now, a lot of my viewers are probably familiar with layer twos. They probably use the Matic layer two or Optimism or Arbitrum or something else that is Ethereum related. But in this case, we're talking about the Lightning Network, which is a layer two for Bitcoin. The Lightning Network is known for being extremely fast, but then also it's other issues regarding centralization and other issues that have plagued it before. But we're not going to talk about those other issues that people may have with the Lightning Network, and we're just going to focus on the replacement cycling attack. Now, this attack is extremely sophisticated, so I want to thank NASDAQ and also No BS Bitcoin for providing excellent examples on explaining the replacement cycling attack. Hacker Man, he's the most powerful hacker of all time. This attack is not easy at all. And what it requires is opening two channels with the victim, routing a payment through that victim, successfully replacement cycling the victim's HTLC timeouts for Delta blocks, and then all of this without the victim discovering the HTLC pre-image transaction. Now let's go over the attack in detail. Imagine Bob is routing a lightning payment from Alice to Carol, and while in flight, the payment is protected by the HTLC outputs in his pre-signed channel commitments with each peer. A HTLC or hash time lock contract is a conditional payment from sender to receiver. It can be spent immediately by the receiver by revealing the pre-image to a hash H or reclaimed by the sender after some timeout. By securing the HTLC on each hop with the same hash lock Payments can be routed atomically. Carol can't claim the outgoing HTLC without revealing the pre-image, which Bob can then use to redeem the incoming HTLC from Alice. At least that's the theory. To ensure Bob has time to react if something goes wrong, the time lock on the outgoing HTLC expires first at some block height T. Then the time lock on the incoming HTLC expires at some later height T plus Delta, after which Alice can reclaim her money. So here's the attack. Remember, Bob has HTLCs pending in two channels, one outgoing HTLC to Carol, which expires at block T, and one incoming HTLC from Alice, which expires at block T plus Delta. At block T, Carol still hasn't revealed the pre-image to settle the payment. So Bob is forced to time it out on chain. He broadcasts the commitment transaction to close his channel with Carol. And once it confirms, he sends a HTLC timeout transaction, which spends the HTLC to reclaim his funds. Unfortunately for Bob, Alice and Carol are colluding to steal his money. They have prepared for the attack by broadcasting a chain of two transactions with low fees, apparently unrelated to the Lightning Channel, which we'll call the Cycle Parent and Cycle Child. As soon as the attackers see Bob's HTLC timeout transaction hit the mempool, they broadcast an HTLC pre-image transaction, which spends both the HTLC output using Carol's hash pre-image and an output from the cycle parent. Since this HTLC pre-image transaction pays a higher fee rate and spends the same inputs, it replaces both the cycle child and Bob's HTLC timeout transaction in the mempool. If Bob sees this, he can take the pre-image and use it immediately to redeem the incoming HTLC from Alice. So the attackers broadcast a new transaction replacing the cycle parent. The HTLC pre-image depends on that for one of its inputs, so it is also evicted from the mempool. At the end of this cycle, the HTLC from Bob's channel with Carol ends up unspent, and no trace of the HTLC timeout and the HTLC pre-image transactions remain on the mempool. The attackers repeat this cycle to eject Bob's HTLC timeout transaction every time he rebroadcasts it. 
If they prevent it from getting mined for another Delta blocks, Alice can time out the HTLC on the other channel and leave Bob out of pocket for the entire value of the payment. Yikes. From NASDAQ and their postmortem on the lightning replacement cycling attack, their remediation is to simply rebroadcast the transaction with a slight fee bump. However, they also state that this might not even matter because if you are not a routing node, then you're most likely safe from this attack. Okay, so my honest opinion on all this is that if you do use the Lightning Network, it's not really worried too much about this. The attack is extremely sophisticated and supposedly they haven't seen this uh, in the wild in like 10 months, but what kind of makes it interesting is that they did see it happen in the wild like 10 months ago or so. Um, I can't find any sources on that currently, but um, that's just interesting in itself. However, again, I wouldn't worry too much about this, but um, if you want to be safe, uh, I would wait for like a true fix from the devs, maybe like a soft fork or something like that to um, help with the whole pre-imaging and the HTLC timeout. Um, other than that, you know, feel free to use the Lightning Network. Um, me personally, I'm not gonna use it. I don't really use it anyways, but just wanna give you a security update and, you know, put an F in the chat for me. Peace.